A soap film is like a sandwich with soap molecules on both sides of the sandwich and a water soap mixture in between. The first soap film we're going to investigate, we're going to make it so that it's one wavelength of blue light between the outer edges of both pieces of masking tape. When blue light comes into the soap film, most of it passes right through. However, some of the blue light reflects from the front surface of the soap film. To represent that reflection, I'm going to wait until a zero crossing at one edge of the 3x5 card is at the front, and then fold it back. When light reflects from a high-speed material like air to a slower-speed material like water and soap, the wave actually flips upside down. I have to see that. I have to clear this light here, which is what had passed through the surface. And so this is the light that reflected off the front surface of the soap film. Now let's see what happens to the light that comes in and reflects off the back surface of the soap film. So I run my light through until it reaches the back surface of the soap film, and then I fold it over. Well, that wave going from slow speed water and soap to high speed air does not flip over. So these two chains of paper waves now represent the light that's reflected from the front and the back of the soap film. And look at what happens when they add together. They cancel each other out. The bottom of one reflection matches the top of the other reflection. These waves completely cancel. And that means that when blue light comes in to a soap film that is one wavelength of blue light thick, no blue light at all is reflected. Watch what happens when red light comes into a soap film that's one wavelength of blue light thick. I'll let the waves start together in phase, bring them almost all the way through, and I like to stop when the zero crossing of one of the cards is at the front surface of the soap film. You remember what happens when I go from air to soap? It reflects back. I pull through the light I'm not interested in, and I flip it over. And then I take the one at the back right here, and I fold it over. I have to fold in the middle of the paper here because it is not at the edge of one of the cards. Now you'll notice that the peak of one and the trough of the other do not line up. This means that the red light in reflection is not canceled. So when the blue and the red come in together to a soap film that's one wavelength of blue light thick, the blue is completely canceled and there's no reflection at all. A little bit of red reflects and comes out of the soap film. 